should be set. I think that's the thing. Anyway, let's see. There we go. That's better. Alright. Okay, so that should be that all set and ready. Let's see here. Delightful. Audio is all good to go. So, is that stream up? Maybe it's the hyperlink exploded. It lagged my text a little bit. It's a little bit annoying, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So, if I can get my glasses to set right, we'd be able to turn water into wine. Okay, so, uh, my glasses are a little crooked, but I'll just kind of deal with that as we go. In any case, welcome back, lovelies, to Let's Play X2 with me, Tilly and Grace. Now, without any further addiddle, I'm going to rush as quick as possible through this stage because it's a pain in the ass. Ow. Go away, all of ya. And yet again, those guys never drop anything. Very odd. Anyway, I went through and got everything that I could. I've got nine lives and three full sub tanks. Unfortunately, fighting the uh, boss of the previous stage to this one, and yes, I had to go through it yet again. And that big guy with the wrecking ball, the spiked wrecking ball, is still just as much of a pain in the ass as always. So, all right, we can use our super blast to actually take this guy out better. That's right. Okay, so these guys, we... You hit me with that blaster, I'm gonna be a little peeved. Never mind, I'm actually fine that I got hit there. Ah, I stepped on him! What the hell? It's fine. As long as we can just keep dashing through everything and get through this place as quick as we possibly can, all will be made well. So, we've got a full Giga Crush, so we can use that. Ooh. Ah, it took too long. Yeah, get it. I bet if I turned on rookie mode, they would just completely remove the uh, spikes there. Rookie mode is for... Not for Mega Man, it's Mega Baby! Mega Baby mode! Who wants that? Alright. So, come here, you! As before, I'm just gonna stand on this stupid-ass thing, because I suck at platforming! Which is why I'm playing a great action platformer. Uh, okay. How do we... Oh, that's right. Charge up and use our flame ability. I'm gonna get that just cuz. Ah, that's right. Hey, wait a minute. Can we, like, launch this? Oh! Hey, get out of here, you. Wow! Like, wow! That was way better than I thought it would be. Oh, cool. I'll take it. All right. So, now here we be yet again to take on X Hunter number two. All right. So before I actually go against this guy, let me think for a bit. This thing managed to take out his turrets quite easily, but he takes two of the blocks instead of just one, leaving us with only two platforms. But I think that's okay, because if we blow up his turrets and make him vulnerable to actual damage, then we can use the Giga Crush and hopefully take him out in one shot and we won't have to deal with him anymore. Let's give it a try. I have no idea if this is going to work. Yeah. 
Why, why are these? Oh, okay, they are taking damage. They're being weird about it. Ow! Yeah. Alright, and... Take this! Yeah! Oh boy. So, I've got nothing that can effectively hurt him much at all, aside from regular tiny glass, which is not good for us. In fact, I'd say it's actually the worst possible thing that could ever happen. Oh boy. Um, hmm. Let me think for a sec. Actually, I think maybe the silk shot might do us some favors, because it's got a bit of an arc to it. Ah! Spikes! The spikes yet again! It's fine. It's fine. No problem. Okay. Where's the thingy? There we go. It didn't take us very much to get this done. And in hindsight, it's probably a lot better for us to destroy his turrets first. Or no, destroy all of his turrets at once. That way he only breaks one block. I mean, not that it'll actually help us at all, but whatever. Oh, no, you don't. Ah. Gotcha. Ha-ha! Yeah. Just gotta basically remember to stay on this one block. Ah! That's a pretty good strat. Yeah. Stop it! Curse you! Ow! Remember this guy's name? Agile? Something like that? I have no idea. Surgis? Surgis! That's what it was. Right, come on, you big old surgeon, then. I will destroy you! Eventually! By the power of explosives. To stay right here on this platform will actually be fairly good. Come on! Ah! Play the face! Don't. Come on then! Ha! Now let's go ahead and use our our last sub tank. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! What the hell? Has he even taken damage at all? What about this? I'll fire your face, you are! Ah! Can't hit him at an angle! Dang it! How tough are you, dude? What about this? Maybe this? Ah! Get down here! Ah, sometimes that goes through enemies. What else can we use? That'd be a risk. Let's take that risk. Ow! I need an angle. Aha! No! He was almost dead! No! Ah! You! Oh, I will destroy you! But now I do have an idea. If I can at least plant that thing on top of his head, we won't have to... Uh -oh. That's a problem. Crap. We don't really have anything good enough to deal with his turrets except for us. We'll have to deal with it. All right, let's do this. Come on, floaty platforms, let's go. Of course, the dog is activated next door. Ow. What was that? I, I pressed left once. Come on, game. Oh. This is why I got so many extra lives, though. I've got uh, six left. And we're gonna go through all of them fighting this one guy. Aren't we? Right on. Seriously, though. If, if we do go through all six lives and have to go all the way back to the start of the game... Well, not the start of the game, but you know what I mean. Basically, if we have to 
go through this stage again just to face this guy and die over and over, I'm going to get go ahead and activate uh, Rookie Hunter mode. Yes, yes, I did call it baby mode, and it is baby mode because I'm a big baby. There's no other way to do this, though. With a... a... Plastic fingers! What are you doing to me? Just blow up already. Take this! Bloody hell! Jeez! Okay, well maybe I was mistaken then. He blew up enough to take on both platforms anyway. Okay. I can just... Ah! I can get over there! Come on now. Come on, do some extremely catastrophic damage. Something! Yeah, this isn't even gonna work. Ah! I thought I'd do a vertical blast. <sighs> you know what? Screw it. I'm tired of fighting this guy. Like, seriously, this is stupid. Rookie Hunter mode on. I'm turning it off as soon as we get to the next one. I am sick of this guy. <sighs> Come on, then. Let's go. Die! My spastic fingers kill me anyway! I hate this boss. You really need that. That's the only weapon that effectively destroys the uh, turrets, and we're completely out. Oh, this is so annoying. Rookie hunter mode on, and all it takes is a slip of the fingers, and death awaits us. Oh, stupid. <laughs> I hate this. Oh. <laughs> Welcome, Ryusin. Welcome to the suffering. I have, I think, five lives left? Four lives. No energy tanks, even though I've spent like 30 minutes preparing. Is he damaging us now? He is not. Okay, we got that at least. I'm just gonna stand here then. Hang on. Is there a... There's gotta be something that we can use that... Carefully, get over there. Whoa. Not that. Whoa, stay on the platform. There we go, that, that'll do. Whoa, ah, don't. All right. Nearly there. Come on, man. Blow up. There we go. Okay, so, all I have to do Make sure this lands on him, so we can actually do some damage. Oh, screw it! Where's my where's my bubble beam? We'll take you out with the dumbest weapon ever invented. Easy does it. Whoa. Yeah, I think that's what Rookie Hunting Mode actually did. We're completely invulnerable. But we still react to damage. And with those spikes down there, that's probably going to kill me because I'll spastically react like I always do and overcompensate on pressing the button 
to get back onto the platform and end up careening into the spikes. So this is the only time I'll use this mode. It sucks, but, you know, what we gotta do. Oh, oh that doesn't do anything for us. This, yeah, this more often than not gets the platform. Let's try this. Yeah, I still gotta be pixel perfect with it. Ah. Well, that doesn't help out, does it? And it harmlessly falls to the floor. Right. Ah, screw it. I'll just lemon blast them. Ding! So this actually hurt him. Uh, I think we hit him at least twice, so we got that going for us. Whatever. We'll just take him out one singular hit point at a time, then. This will be... Oh, this is insulting! Who, ap who approves this boss fight? My goodness. He's moving around so much. He's like a he's like a vertical version of uh, that one fight with Robotnik. I, I think it was Sonic 2, maybe? Maybe Sonic 3. But he's in like the uh, the pillars. A whole bunch of mechanical pillars that come down and Robotnik is in one of them at a time and he'll switch around and move about so you have to keep guessing. For a sec I thought we died. <laughs> This is impossible! The prophecy must be fulfilled! No! No! Where's my newspaper? Just swat him. No! 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 Ugh. And yes, I had... I was completely fed up with this boss fight because I prepared everything in advance and it was not worth anything. I'm not even going to cheer for that one. No, that was an embarrassment and an insult to gaming. Ah, but we are beyond it now, so... Rookie Hunter mode, off. And hopefully we don't have to encounter anything like that again. But before we proceed any further... Well... No, we do still have like four lives, so... Yeah, it's fine. Let's go. But yeah, apparently Rookie Hunter mode prevents you from taking any damage, but you still react to hits. And with that particular stage and my spastic fingers, I was going to dash my way into the spikes and end up costing me the level myself instead of the boss. So, any of y'all watch me for long enough, you know, I don't stand for crap like that. Hell no. How do we... How do I get back? None of these are re retrieval items. Hmm. I have no idea. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Bah! You fool! Get off me! Yeah, fall to you, do him. Yeah. What? Oh! One of these things, okay. I mean, I honestly don't know why we would ever need that, all things considered, but okay. Uh, excuse me. But yeah, like I said, I'll only ever use Rookie Hunter mode for complete asinine crap like that. Oh, that's nice. Hey, where'd it go? How much does that fill? Well, not enough. 
would be a great stage area to come back to, but with only four lives, I would not recommend it. There we go. Up the days. Woo. Oh, that's a problem. we're good. We're not. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. The, the thing won't... No. Okay, so I guess we gotta stay on the platform the whole time. Hopefully it... Okay, good. It despawned. Or respawned. Whatever. Two days. Cautious. Careful. Make sure not to wedge it in a corner. Go. Oh. Oh, it's bad! Oh, thank you. Okay, and... Ow! Whoa! Okie dokie. And again. The way the music is sounds very perfect for a uh, continuous failure. Up we go. There we are. No. We need to destroy that guy before we go over there. There we go. A little bit of safety never hurt. Alright, ups and days. I don't think that's big enough. Hmm. Ah, bloody hell. How do we... Oh man, it's gonna have to be pixel... Oh, wait a minute. Go away. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, you... Bloody hell. I can't jump. gonna be a problem. Okay, okay, and jump and jump. All right. Bloody hell! God! Fucking jump when I tell you to jump! Jesus! I apologize for that, but I pressed jump and he just stood there. Can I just. There. Screw you guys! Get out of here! Oh. The X Games, the Mega Man games in general, are supposed to be. Intuitive, cleverly designed, and above all, fun! Mega Man X, an absolute blast! This game, it takes all the bad things of the first X game and puts them in here. Why? Why is this in here? This is... No! D no! I refuse! Absolutely! Oh, screw you! What even is that? I don't care. Oh, it'll still hit him. Nice. I thought I'd get caught on the uh, spikes there. Well, yeah. If all goes well, we will be done with this game today. It will be the last episode. I'd imagine, anyway. The whole going back and getting zero thing. Yeah, I'm not doing that. There, this game is unforgivable. For the, the rate that it kicks the difficulty up so far in the final stage, there's no reason for it. And I'm not going to stand for its stupidity. 
Whoa! That was my fault. That was my bad. I overcompensated on uh, getting back to the platform. On the upside, at least I now know how to deal with those big guys. There we go. Nothing. <sighs> yeah, you can easily tell that the last uh, straw has been reached, and uh, it's not taking it anymore. But I'm not going to go so far as to activate Rookie Hunter mode to go through the rest of it. I want to at least experience how far it's actually gone. Press the <laughs> jump there. I remember there's a platform there, but eh. okay, it's just enough. Right there we go. Oh, don't you dare! This is what the game has done to me. I didn't trust myself to make that jump. All right, who's the third X Hunter? Let's take him out and just use the regular X Buster. Because let's face it, it's gonna be some stupidity here as well. Of course, there's spikes everywhere. Why not? Who the hell? What? Oh my goodness! Oh, I see what you're doing. I need something that'll actually start attacking up there. I need to reach him. And those little tiny spikes are insta kills. <sighs> Alright, what do we got that. This is really the only thing that fires upward. Well, actually, hang on. If we think in diagonals, we can use the the breakable block thing. Oh, but this works so well. Come on. Let's face the evil, destructive Tetris blocks. We just gotta make sure that we're underneath them the whole time. That's not too bad. That's a... That's an understandable game mechanic. That works. No problem. He's about as fast as with movement as I am. Holy crap. Ow. Uh, you gotta remember to be mindful of the... Excuse me? My foot touched darkness. And... It killed me. Right. Alright. No problem. This is fine. Funny enough, we won't actually be able to use the uh, Rookie Hunter mode for any purpose at this bat uh, battle, because he's not actually doing that much damage to us directly, except for those electric things. Uh, just a sec. The falling spikes instantly killed me about a minute ago. Now all they do is a tiny bit of damage. Game, you're gonna have to make up your goddamn mind about how much damage I receive. Because I will not stand for that. Oh boy. Okay, so. That's how it's gonna be. Whoa. Whoa. Oh boy! There we go. Easy. We just gotta be mindful about where we're standing 
don't touch that dark spot off the edge of the screen because apparently it's toxic. And stay under them and jump out whenever the walls come up. Ah, a little bit after the walls come up, so we can avoid those. There we go. Better. I'm getting nervous though. And we won't use it just yet. It does get us to full health, I think. Ah, huh? ooh, what? No, this cannot be. Master, avenge me. Booty, buddy. Oh, we destroyed him. I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention to his health at all. Nice. All right. Take care of that problem. Alright. So yeah. One thing I can abs uh, say with absolute certainty. The game itself, the levels, the eight main robots, fantastic. Like, they're a bit unpredictable, but you can get down their moves and figure out what they're doing and not have a problem. The X-Hunters, however. The X-Hunter stages? Well, the stages are pretty solid, too. But the X-Hunters themselves. Absolute crap. They, I guess they wanted a villain that could stand up to X, and they ended up overcompensating like crazy? And this is what we get. Before we proceed any further, I'm gonna do a little cheating of my own, since this is what their motive is. So, let's take these guys down. What? There. As long as we have this bubble shield on, we're actually, for the most part, invincible. The shield can deteriorate like that, and if you take damage when it's deteriorated, it'll hit you right in the face. But it makes getting through these uh, bat enemies fairly easy. Now, I'm not going to go for a full nine lives thing. I'm just going to get a couple extra. So there was one. Let's go back and get one more. Just to be on the safe side. There's that wind up there being all windy and ominous. Crap. I have to do this with two hands. Jeez. There we go. All right. And away we go. Excuse me. There. Beautiful. Okay. So, we got that. <laughs> nice sweet little raven mode. I apologize for the rage earlier here, but that boss. Oh, man. Total ridiculous. Hello, Sigma Stage 3. How you doing? Been a while. Does this have wormy things to drop from the top? What the? Wait a minute. These are Dr. Light's capsules. That one's nearly destroyed. That one's empty. Oh! Whoa! They're teleporters! Oh, that's clever! Ah, here we go! Oh crap, I don't remember what he was weak to. Probably not this. Nope! He just laughs! Aha! <laughs> Whoa, no you don't. Yeah. Ah. Come here, I got some. Go, bloody hell. Don't stand in the way of fire. 
Which is probably what this guy says to all of his enemies, all things uh, considered. Ooh. Ah. We're golden if we can keep this up. We basically have him in a stun lock. Oh! I'm getting a little too quick for my britches. There we go. Yes. The rage is real. <laughs> yeah. Ah. I just do not stand for that level of BS in games. And if there's a way around it, I will take it. Okay. I see what they're doing here. There's probably eight of these all around, and we got to take on all of them. Take out all the previous bosses. All right, the bubble crab. Oh man, I remember nothing about these guys. Uh, this one, maybe. There we go. Oh, that's right. He's got the slicer. No, that's not right. What was the? Th oh yeah, the the wheel. Ow. Take that! Ha! Ah, your shield means nothing to me! Whoop! I think I just made the same sound that his bubble shield made. There we go. Whoa! Watch it now! Man, he, he is speedy! I definitely do not want to jump too high. There we go. Alrighty! Oh, nice soda. I'm gonna have to go out later and get more of this. Note to self. Continue as we were. Clockwise! No real reason for it, it's just I started going this way, may as well continue. There we go. Ah, hello, my new friend. This one? Yeah, that looks about right. Man, I, I've completely forgotten every single enemy weakness. This is ridiculous. Whoa! What the hell was that? Hey, you stop that! Yeah, I forgot. These things don't really go down, do they? Ooh, back away! I'm a shy boy! Yeah, get out of here! Okay, now I'm really nervous. A glug glug? Nice little... What is that, anyway? Electrical... Condensed electrical energy in some kind of liquid form? Gasoline? What do Reploids even run on? I have no idea. Anyway. Yes. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Not even a moment to breathe. Whoa. Did he do that last time? I don't remember that. Hey, he is still going. Some say he is still drifting to this day. Anyway. Okay, there is a roof. <laughs> I was about to say. I remember your weakness. Fire! Toasty! <laughs> Alright, carefully. Avoid. Ah! Any and all thingies. Let's go away, you. Well, that did a whole heap of helping and nothing. Ow! Yeah, go away! Oh, it's right behind me! Whoa! That would be... Right. Okay, now, phase two! I would like to see what his... Uh, what his larval stage looks like fully formed, but I can't survive long enough for that. Gotcha! Down the daisy. But yeah, like I started to say in my rage-fueled review, 
portion of whatever the hell it is that I do. The advancements in this game are good, but not really fully utilized, because... What the... Oh! I didn't even realize the thieves were here! Hell yeah! Uh, there's none on these, though. Darn. Alright, whatever. But yeah, remember back in the very first stage, we had to fight that big giant robot that was basically the background. And then every subsequent battle has been normal fight. This one. Ah! Holy hell. Oh, that's bad! Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Get me out of the blood. Yeah! Well, that did nothing at all. I think it is this. Yeah, we can keep him in a fairly good stun lock with that. Oh, that's bad. Real bad! Hi, right, how you doing? Oh. Ah! Ran right into that sucker! I was even ready for it and everything, it's still screwed up. Okay. Easy do. Just gotta make sure to watch that lower corner for that! Ah! Started going farther from the wall because I knew he was gonna pop up. No! Bloody hell! He usually does two of these, I think. Stay up. There we go. Much better. Oh, you! You spend so much time under the river of blood. Ow! Get up there. Gotcha. Oh, he said he spent so much time under the blood that it like artificially extends the boss fight time. If he would just stay up here, I'd take him out in a second. Oh no, I wanted to jump over. Ah, whatever. I remember you! Ugh. Ow! Magnetically commanded me to fly into him. Ow, what a No! Hey, stop it! Okay, this is where we die. Come on! Oh, just, just hit him! Oh, oh, he landed on us. I'll take it, I'll take it. At least we're back with full health. Alright, let's go in there prepared. Do we even have any... No, we don't have any uh, sub tanks full, even with a little bit. It's annoying. But, whatever. Oh, it changed my weapon on me. Okay. I guess we'll take that, no problem. Yeah, not like I want to be prepared when fighting a boss. Aha! Holy hell. Ah, come on! Just... Diagonals! Why can't I process them? There, stay down here. Come on now. Yeah, just keep doing that. Just keep teleporting around and I'll take this guy out in no time. No, not up there. Yeah. There. 
I'll take you down with the mystical power of throwing rocks at you. Oh, oh bloody hell, I got hit by the ricochet. Even the big one! Really? Alright. That works. Good. Okay. I learned a thing here. Apparently, we can still jump even in those corners when he's up there in the corner, and we will not hit him. I didn't know that. That's why I was avoiding going up there so much. Okay. We can use that to take that guy down easier next time, if there ever is going to be a next time, which there will not be because I'm going to never touch this game again. <laughs> okay, now. Oh, thank goodness. Just get up there, please. Why are they just small ones? I can't live off that. They're giving me grains to deal with. Okay. Aha! Overdrive Ostrich, is it? How in the hell are we taking you out? Oh! Ha ha ha! There we go! A speedy enemy! Use a sticky, slow substance that seems to work for some reason. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> this is so good. I think this is the only enemy even affected by this thing. Well, I mean, sure, we freeze the other enemies, you know, in like, the blocks of crystal and whatnot. But actually taking damage, it doesn't damage them at all. <sighs> okay, one last. I think, anyway. I'm pretty sure it's only one. Ding dong! Hello, my snaily friend! Alright, let's see. What would be his weakness? We've used that, we've used that, we've used that. Magnet line? Maybe. But this thing is so slow. Whoa! Aha! Hey, wait a minute. Uh oh. Da! Ah, I got you did that. Turn around. There. Okay, I gotta be aware of that too. Jeez. Take it. No. Oh. Yikes! Just keep moving. He's, he's hitting us with the power of lag. Gotcha. Aha! Ah, oh, that stupid shell's in the way. There we go. Oh, gotcha! All right. I don't know how that works, but I must interrupt his magnetic control as well or something. Or whatever the heck it is he does. Can we take a shell, though? It'd be really useful. Sigma! I knew it! It has been a while, Mega Man X. What? Ooh, I can't hear you have over how explodey everything is. Sigma! It seems that the X-Hunters have failed. But don't worry. I have arranged for some new toys for you to play with. What? Ah. We. Oh. There we go. That way, B. X Hunter Stage, yet again. I wonder what that does. Anyway. Away we go, I guess. I have no idea what's coming. Ooh. I do like the music, though. That definitely gives a 
a sense of finality. I like it. Also, we're back at the Magnus Centipede stage. In its entirety, from the looks of it. Whoa! Out of my way. Uh-oh! Excuse me, coming through. Alright. Out of way! Blow up! I want your items. I wish those things would respawn. They tend to have a fairly good selection of, uh, drops. Yeah, look at that! Alright! Now, if I remember right, this one doesn't actually have a purple block. Which is fine, I'll take it. Or rather, not take it. Ah. No! Six. No! Zero! Fully reformed and on Sigma's side! Ah! Oh, no! Look who I found wandering around, Mega Man. My friend here has a small problem with you. It seems that you let him die, and he's not too happy about that. Hey, we didn't let him die! He saved us from Vile in the last game! Now I think it's time that he repays the favor. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Zero! I'm sorry! Ow, bloody hell. Alright, let's see what we got. Ow! Oh, he's gonna deflect everything, isn't he? What even is that ability? Ah! Okay, he's got a blade dash. He's got that shockwave thing that's going to be a pain in the ass. And then his blaster is two shots and a, a sword slash. Okie dokie. Yeah, it's not working at all. Take this! Okay, that at least gives me time to think. Ah, yeah, it's never going to work. Ah, oh, get out of here so I can use the other abilities. Whoop. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, it's just gonna be the X-Buster, isn't it? Hey, wait a minute! Or fire! Aha! Ow. Fire works, but... Wait a minute. Oh, I was just getting stupid lucky. Okay. Oh, that's not gonna help anything, is it? Oh, jeez, this is so epic, though. I was honestly waiting for the time when uh, this particular song would come into play. It's my favorite in the whole... Okay, I'm gonna die from that. Yeah. He... He tanked the Giga Crush. Didn't see that coming. All right, let's try this again. We know at least for certain that... Let's see, what can we... Yeah, this works. He tanks everything except for the X-Buster. Fully charged. So, we'll do that. No problem. No problem at all. And yeah, we don't need that. None of the... Oh, come on! Ah, Good me! Actually, can I use this on the purple block? Not very effectively. Alright, it, it's fine, it works. So at some point, we were also supposed to get the, uh... Shoryuken flaming uppercut from, uh, Street Fighter. Just like the Hadouken in the first game, but... I don't know where that is in this. I don't know if we missed it or not, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, give me a sec. Oof. Ah, my back. Oh, there we go. That's a little better. 
can't have a stiff back and fight zero. There's no way that's gonna work. I do wonder if he might possibly be on our side if we actually bothered to collect all of his parts, but... Ah, whatever. All right, blah, 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 blah. Come on, let's get to the epic fight. Ah, bloody hell. Ah! Ah, not fast enough! Ah! Stop it! Oh, bloody hell. Whoa! There's like no way I can avoid any of those attacks. Ah, oh, and he just stops his dash as soon as he gets to us. Oh, boy. Okay, uh... <sighs> can I... No. I was looking for if I could actually change the controls to put dash onto uh, one of the shoulder buttons or something so I can use it while also charging my attack. Which I can do, but it's an absolute pain in the ass. Oh! No! That's really hell. Stop it! No, zero! I used to love you, now I hate ya! Wait, he even tanked that! Oh, come on now! Okay. I've got... A slight semblance of an idea. Ow. We'll flame strike him every time he dashes. And then dash over him as quick as we can. Ah, why? Wah! <laughs> I'm just gonna whine at them. That'll be the perfect solution. Ugh. Out of the way. matter anymore. Okay. Thankfully, these blocks seem to do a fairly good job. Oh, thanks for that. Back to four. Okay. But yeah, they do a fairly good job replenishing me so I can actually, at the very least, start the fight with full health. Not a lot of good in other areas, but at least we got that going for us. What I really should do is die over and over, which I know sounds counterproductive, but if I can go back to the uh, Wheel Gator stage and just farm up health to refill all of our energy tanks, we may be able to last through fighting our old brother Zero. All right, come on. Come on, I'm ready. My word, though, is Sigma colorful. He's got that red, blues, tans, I guess. Red crystal in, on his head, flesh tones, purple shoulders. Yeah. I think they just threw every color in their uh, box at him. This seems to be working. Whoa! You're supposed to be dashing! Oh, bloody hell. Ha! Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. This, no. <laughs> There's no way I can do this. I'm gonna have to have some help. Ah! Ah, my nut! Okay. Let's find the nearest pit to fall in, then. Actually, you know what? I've got about a minute left. Actually, like, 30 seconds. So... Yeah, I'm going to... at least reveal my plan here. Where's the first pit? Here we go. Ah! I have to do this a few times because the exit key doesn't work. 
unfortunately. The weird thing is, there's no actual explanation for why it doesn't work. It just doesn't. Until you beat the boss of an area. Now, maybe, like, the boss has some type of control inhibitor thing that, like, prevents us from uh, teleporting out. We can teleport in, no problem, but getting out's a problem. I don't know. If there's some kind of in-lore, in-story explanation of that in the later games, I look forward to seeing them. But we've got X2 to get through first. I do look forward to X3, though. I will say that. Because that one I have played... Well, scratch that. I've played all of these games. But... Except for the, the later ones, like... X6 and 7 and whatnot. Anyway. What I'm gonna do... But yeah, uh, before I derail my train of thought again... Uh, X3 allows you to play a zero. Now, I think maybe you can do that in this game and it'll, like, just work. But I don't know because I've never defeated the uh, X-Hunters in time. I completely forgot that they just give a great big fat good luck and too late if you don't defeat them before the other bosses, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. Actually, tomorrow I'll probably go after the X Hunters themselves, since, well, no, that would involve. Uh, that would involve going through the game again, and I already dealt with the crap that the Surges has, so. It's just a big fat pile of annoying. Oh, boy. Ah! These things are just fast enough that they can get through your shield, so you gotta stay low. And there goes the rest of the shield. Right. Wow, that didn't work at all. Now, a good spot is right here. Ow. Don't be spastic like I am and run right into the platform you're trying to not destroy. Because we want to destroy the birds, not the generator. So that they'll keep dropping this stuff for us. That's it. In any case, I will do that over and over, and then teleport back out. Which I'll probably end up doing again anyway, because I think if we close out the game, it empties our energy tanks, which is really annoying. Also resets us down to three lives, so I have to make sure to prepare for this ahead of time by going here for the extra lives at the start, and here for the help. Then we can take this off. And... Also just realize that if I try and go up in there after turning the game off, it's going to start us back at the very beginning of the X Hunter stages. Oh boy. I will get through that rage on my own tomorrow. And we will start back at uh, Fighting Zero. Ding! The X Hunter stages really need to be removed from this game. Like, this was such a terrible idea. Or I guess a fantastic idea because, oh, it's so challenging. And how can we possibly get through these things? What a wonderful innovation for the Mega Man series. No. <laughs> In any case. Thank y'all for watching me slowly dying at playing this game. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. This, of course, has been Let's Play X2 with me, Sally and Graves. And I will catch you in the next one. Later. <laughs> oh, boy.